in this video i will show you total two examples in which the diodes will be connected in series parallel structure see this is our circuit structure in this circuit here you will see we have only source of 10 volt here we have two diodes d1 and d2 we have to calculate the current through this diode d2 so at first we have to see the bias conditions of the diode see the positive terminal of this 10 volt source is connected with the p side of the diode d1 and the negative terminal is connected with the n side of the d1 this implies that the diode d1 will be in forward bias okay so i can replace this diode d1 with a 0.7 volt source if i consider the simplified equivalent circuit see i have replaced the diode with a 0.7 volt source here you will see this 10 volt will be applied between this terminal to this ground terminal that means some portion of this 10 volt will be dropped across this diode d1 and the rest of the portion will be dropped across this resistor see the voltage difference between this terminal to this terminal will be equal to the building potential of diode D1 which is 0.7 volt that means see this point and this point will be the same point that means the voltage difference between this terminal to this terminal will also be equal to 0.7 volt rest of that 9.3 volt will be dropped across this 1 kilo ohm resistor so I can say that the voltage difference between this terminal to this terminal will be equal to 9.3 volt you will see this branch will be in parallel with the diode d2 and 250 ohm here you will see the current in this one kilo ohm resistor will be entering from this direction so this terminal should be positive and this terminal should be negative because the current will be due to this 10 volt source so current will be flowing in this direction when the diode will be in forward bias now see this terminal is positive and this terminal is negative this negative terminal will be connected with the n side of the diode d2 and the positive terminal will be connected with the p side of the diode d2 this implies that this 9.3 volt voltage difference between this terminal to this terminal will drive the diode d2 in forward bias so when the diode d2 will be in forward bias i can also replace the diode d2 with a voltage source of 0.7 volt see here i have replaced the diode d2 with 0.7 volt source this is its positive terminal and this is its negative terminal now the current in this branch will be flowing in this direction because you will see this terminal should be positive so this terminal will be at higher potential and this terminal should be negative so this terminal will be at lower potential and current always flows from higher to lower potential that means this terminal will be positive and this terminal will be negative in case of this 250 ohm resistor let's say the current that is flowing through the diode d2 the same current will flow through the resistor of 250 let's say that current is i now i will apply kvl in this loop to calculate the current in this branch that contains the diode d2 from this terminal to this terminal i will encounter this 9.3 volt its negative terminal first positive terminal later so its voltage will be positive after that i will encounter this 0.7 volt source positive terminal first negative terminal later so minus 0.7 after that i will encounter this 250 ohm its positive terminal first negative terminal later so its voltage will be i into 250 ohm and that will be equal to zero now if i want to calculate i here you will see i will be equal to 8.5 6 volt divided by 250 ohm which will give us 34.4 milli ampere